Hey y'all, we are going to cook some cabbage and kielbasa, and I've got my iron skillet, pretty big old iron skillet, just bigger than that 10 inch, on my fire, already getting hot. I'm going to put just a good amount of bacon grease in there, and I've got a head, let's see, let's see, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We're not doing our cabbage yet. My grease got hot and it's got me a little fluster here. So I've got about a package of this andouille from Country Places down in Florence, Mississippi sausage that we're going to put in here. And it smells wonderful already with that bacon in it, y'all. I'm going to let this get to getting. I'm going to turn it up about a medium. And I did take the casing off of this. Let me show you what this package looks like. It's very, very good. This andouille is a little bit spicy. This does not have MSG in it, so yippee for us. So let's just get us a one little layer. Now last year for St. Patrick's Day, I did a kind of a southernized uh, cabbage and, and kielbasa. Well, this time it's gonna be southernized and we're gonna go a little bit deeper south and I'm gonna add a little Cajun spice to it to go with this andouille. And let me show it to you. This does not have MSG either. This is my friend John Lindsay from All Cued Up. This is his Bayou Bandit. And some parts of the country call it the Bayou, and some of you people call it the Bio. Where I'm here in Arkansas, we call it the Bio. Like Bio Meta and Bio De View, and it's just the way everybody pronounces things differently, don't they? So I'm just gonna get these browned up, and we will get to getting on this cabbage here in just a minute. Now, since this skillet is a great big, huge skillet, bigger than my 10 inch one, it's hot right square in the middle there. So what I've been doing, I've been kind of turning these over and bringing them to the middle and taking them out whenever they get done. So that is what we're gonna do. And I wanna tell you something. I used to work at a soybean and cotton company in here in Arkansas. We were owned by uh, Delta Pine Land Company in Scott, Mississippi. And we shipped out soybeans and rice and cotton all over the place. But in the, in the winter time, I had a bunch of farmers from down around Opelousa, Louisiana, that would, they farm in the summer and drive truck in the, in the winter time. And they would come up and there were several of them that would bring their wives. You have not heard anything prettier than a Cajun woman with an accent. Oh my gosh, I, they could just read the phone book and I could just sit there and listen to them all day long. And they were just as sweet as sugar. And there was a couple of them that uh, would bring us all kinds of stuff. One of them brought us some uh, fried swamp rabbit that his grandma had cooked. And it was hot even whenever he got there with it. Boy, howdy, that was some good stuff. And let's see, there was another one. His, his granny had made some homemade boudin. Oh, boy. You talk about that was some good stuff right there. Every culture has some really good food in it. So sometimes we need to step out of our own culture and or part of the world or part of the country or whatever you want to call it and just see what else somebody else has got going on. You may find something that you really like. You sure might. All right, let's get the rest of these taken up. And I've got about a half of a Vidalia onion that I've just of course lay chopped up because it's going to cook down and it's going to be fabulous. And I'm going to just put that onion right on in that bacon grease and got some of that good old kielbasa grease in it. And I've cut my fire down to about a three. And that's going to be a plan. Get out there, you. Okay. Okay. Get this going around. I've got my head of cabbage, and I've cut up almost all of it. I'm going to show you how I'm going to get that core out. Just in case you would like to know how to get that core out. Let's get all of this in here, and this will cook down, and it'll just be so good and larping, y'all. I promise you, 100% guarantee, as Justin Wilson would have said. Okay, so what I did, so you got your... Here's the stem, and there's the core, and you just uh, corner your cabbage, and then you take your knife, hold it sideways, and you're just going to cut that core out. Now, there's a lot of people that like to snack on this, and they just put some salt on it and snack on it. If you like to do that, that is a great thing to do, or you can put it in your freezer and save it to whenever you're doing some uh, broth. 
and just throw it in there. Okay, there we go. Yeah, let's put this in here. And if we're just gonna put some of John's Cajun seasoning on top of it, I'm gonna let it kind of sit here for just a second and do its thing. So let's use about, let's see, let's go for, what the who, I don't want that much. We're just going for about a, a good tablespoon. And then I also have two tablespoons of sugar. And this won't make it sweet. It's just going to give it a, a depth of flavor. And my one and lonesome George little garlic clove. We're, I've got some more garlic over here. We need to do some more. We'll roast up some more. I'm just going to go ahead and put that in there. Get all those little bits and pieces. All right. I'm going to mash, mash around on this a little bit. Okay, y'all, I'm going to put the lid on this and let it sit here and simmer for just a minute or two or three or four, and then we'll get back together. Get in there, and then we'll get back in together, and we'll stir it up, and we're going to put these. Oh, wait, 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 wait. we got to do a taste test. Mercy, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. That's some good stuff right there. That sure is. Okay, see y'all back here in a minute. Let's give this the first flip, won't you? So let's just get down in there to the bottom. Pull some of that up to the top. This, I'm going to do this several, several times in the, in the cooking of this. So everybody can get well acquainted, as Mimi would say. But I'm going to tell you, there are, there are two girls down in Louisiana that I dearly love to follow. Their food is phenomenal. There's Brittany Camille and How the Cajun Lady Accent. They are wonderful, and, I, and I'll tag them too, because uh, I want you to go and watch their food and, and watch them. They are all just precious ladies. So, okay. See, it's already getting shorter, isn't it? So, let's just put the lid back on it, and I've still got it sitting on about a three. Get back in there. Everybody's always trying to run away with the spoon around here. So, I'll see y'all back here. Just a minute. Okay, let's give this another start. I've done this five, six, seven, eight times. Just been keep, get, giving it a good dance around the bowl. And I do want to take a taste test. You know, when you're cooking, y'all, you need to taste your food. Don't go by man measurements. Don't go by anybody's measurements. Go by what your taste buds say that is yum, yummy. So let's just get us a little, little piece right here. We'll see what we think. Scoach more Cajun seasoning. Not a whole lot. Just a little. Just a little bit. And just a little bit more sugar. I'm going to give this a stir and then I'm going to put our kielbasa back in it. And then I'm just going to let it ride until it is all cooked down. You know, heat that kielbasa back up. So let's go ahead and get, get this back in here. The next time I see you good people, we'll be ready to dish us up a plate of this. Well, it's done to my liking. Now, yours will be done to your liking. Some people like their cabbage to have still a little bit of crunch to it. Some people like for it to be all cooked down to, to nothing. And you'll just have to decide which way you like it. But let's just give us a good final turn here. And let's just give us up a, a bite. And I know you're eyeballing that loaf of bread right there. I can see y'all. You know, I got those mama eyes in the back of my head. <laughs> Let me tell y'all about this bread. And look for the video of this too. This is gluten-free Irish soda bread. And my husband that can eat anything says this is very, very good. So just because it's gluten-free, don't shy away from it, y'all. But I will, I will have that loaded. I don't know if I'm going to load it before this video or the or after it. You can just go to my page and scroll and see that how good it is. And it's from Kim, not me Kim, her Kim, from uh, Let Them Eat Gluten-Free Cake. And I'll put a link to all her social stuff too. So let's just chase us down about here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Y'all. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm. Y'all, that is very good. Doesn't need anything? No? Doesn't need any salt or pepper? 
Sugar's about right. John's seasoning's perfect. Some flavor from that country place in sausage, so it's a winner, winner. Cabbage dinner. I don't know. Anyway, I'll tag everybody in the tag that we've been talking about today. And I will see you next time. And I hope you have a very happy St. Patrick's Day. Don't get peached. <laughs>